um, one has to you know select, copy, and paste each in entry, which can be time consuming. A solution, uh, Moodle does offer import formats so that if a text file is prepared in a particular way with slight HTML, very, very easy to understand HTML markers, Moodle can then uh, read that and recode it into its quiz format. And that makes it faster than hot potatoes. So for the test taker and proctor's point of view, the following survey provides venue and detail for their in insights. Um, I made a survey and offered it to the uh, students and the data were collected by using the same placement test, WorldLink placement test A, within both Moodle and Hot Potatoes environments. To classes with students of various levels and with Macintosh and Windows OS platforms. No direction was given as to what browser they could use, so they just used whichever they liked. There were two tests altogether. The first was a grammar test and vocabulary and reading. And the second one was a listening test. And both were expressed within Moodle and Hot Potatoes. Now, if you'd like to see what one of these tests looked like, I can pause here and just give you an example. Okay, so let's see if I can find it. Right there? Good. attempts a lot. Well, that means I have to go back to being a teacher again. <laughs> ah, where am I? Here, here, here we are. We got 50 questions. We got a, we got a time clock, and students can look at these things, and they get a JPEG when they need to. Um, they can click all questions and. They could scan and see the questions that they would like to do. Um, got a skimming and scanning question. Got a, you know, what's for dinner kind of question. It's in the thing here. And we got the couple examples of uh, reading and shopping list. Some of the students uh, did this one, and other students did the Moodle version of the same thing. And, and it, again, this uh, looks quite like this. This too also had a time clock. I turned off that feature for whatever reason, but it also had a time clock. Yeah. So it was noticed that this JPEG being rather big got extra space. Moodle made extra space for it. Um, Hot potatoes did not make that much extra space for it. But that alone was not enough to be such a problem for the students. So, let's go back to here. Okay. So that's what the two tests looked like for the students. The students took a survey regarding their experience with both, 
and uh, the data were collected and organized according to a four-point Likert type gradation scale from like to dislike or easy to difficult. I prefer to use even numbers with surveys because there's no middle. It's like a, a forced like sort of and, or a forced dislike. If you have five points, students can just choose three and it means, well, I mean, they may be genuinely three, but you know, I'm in the middle, I don't have an opinion, but uh, I have found that I've had much more interesting, meaningful data when I use even numbers on surveys. And basic biographic salient to the study were also collected. Ten items were made available online at SurveyMonkey. Now Moodle can also do surveys, but I just like the graphics of SurveyMonkey. So the questions um, were this. Which quiz did you like, Moodle or Hot Potatoes? Then the Moodle quiz was easy or difficult. Same with Hot Potatoes. Seeing the pictures in the Moodle quiz was easy to difficult. Seeing the pictures in uh, Hot Potatoes was yeah, easy or difficult, Moodle as well. Reading the pictures, meaning like reading for information from a JPEG, like the menu or the shopping list, was easier to do uh, in Hot Potatoes and Moodle. Then we had the listening test, uh, same thing, which was easy or difficult, either test. And then number 10, the demographics. I am a first-year male, first-year female, second or 